啊，这个是比较比较保险的打法啊。那现在就是专心来灌这个五号球啊，灌灌底带啊，母球看是两颗星或者三颗星啊，再回来啊，这六号球就来球台的中央啊，这做到的面积很大。哎，做完全球啊，不进攻啊，好，形成了吊球啊。但是以我个人认为了，他这个球其实他应该可以选择灌底带啊，因为你你要跟 A f r i e n d 打安全球，除非说你自己吊球吊的相当的有把握啊，要不然的话，你在安全球的这个观念方面啊，可能是 A f r i e n d 是稍微占领优势啊。好 ，A f r i e n d 还可以打得到啊，而且还保进啊。不过九号球没有带啊，不过九号球好像没有带的样子。好，我们看啊，所以说，依我个人认为，川南聪刚刚那个球应该进攻的啊，应该进攻是比较合理。好，不过现在这个六号球没有带可以进啊，那看看会不会来选择吊球。也许川南松还有上场的机会，先不要气馁。哇哦，大家要进七号，哇！哦哦哦、这个已经进牌了，而且对手差很多啊、哦，各种打法都敢打对，各种大法都敢打了啊。这个拉杆进七号，恐怕粉碎了川南松继续上场的希望。所以说啊，川南从刚刚那个球应该灌底带的啊，为什么不拼球呢？我就搞不懂了啊，为什么要不？为什么不拼球？那么教练刚才这个五号球灌底带，他的这个成功率不难不难啊，很高啊，成功率很高啊，非常高的一个球啊，而且这个球台又是新球台，你插板都可以得分的嘛啊，这应该拼的，又是球比赛。<笑>He's made some great shots already. Left himself in very uncomfortable situations, and this one doesn't look to be any different. He's so cautious; he doesn't want to touch that brown. Check. Look at the cue ball power there! Incredible. Loaded up with side, and swung that way back for the seven. Tremendous shot from Reyes. They label him the magician, and you've just seen an example why. The nine down, and Efren Reyes has just put together what I think is his best visit in this match thus far—a break and finish. But he had so much work to do. Watch this white bend with the cue power here. Look at it off that cushion, and look where it leaves. On the first, he's going to play a safety. He's going to put the one ball down table and the cue ball over behind the two ball. Did he hit it hard enough? Oh, he hit a great, great mm, shot. That's a great shot, Dave. Oh boy, it is. I don't know how Reyes can figure out a way out of this one. Well, I wouldn't bet that he doesn't hit it. Efren will go to the bottom rail. He's got the cue ball right behind the two, so he's going to be forced to hit it a certain way. Now he's going to go to the bottom rail, 
and come over here to this rail and try to hit the one ball. What kind of English you got to put on this one? Well, he's going to hit it hard, I believe. But there's one thing. He may have to go from to this rail over to this rail and lengthen it out and come over to the one right here. Now, if he catches, now, if you notice, if he catches the cue ball right here, you notice, you watch when he kicks it. If the cue ball hits there, he should hit the one ball. And he knows that, so he'll be playing the cue ball to hit there. He'll use right hand English, running English, and he'll hit it pretty hard. He, oh, got what it. A great shot. Oh, goodness. And look at that. Look at that shot. There is no real great shot left for Varner. What a master. Notice the shot. He got right where he wanted to. Caught the point. He hits the one. Very thin. He got kind of lucky here. He hits it real thin, and he brings the cue ball back behind the six ball. That's a great shot. Got out for so long, someone may have to remind him what the rules are. <laughs> Now, I remember years ago, the great Leighton Reese was probably watching this at Ponty Priest. He was captain of a three man Welsh team, and I said, What's the team talk? He said, Win. Just win. <laughs> That's about the psychology that Francie. You don't need no more psychology than the bludgeon here. If you get up, you've got to run six or seven. What an ask if he does indeed get out of the seat. Oh, what a shot! Absolute brilliance by the maestro brings the crowd really. Oh, what a shot. He wasn't on for the first time, and he put that in like a tracer bullet. The only problem is... If it's not what he's worried about here is cutting this, this two ball thin enough to go on the side and hope this white ball either catches this rail or this rail. Now, here's the three, and he has to shoot pretty hard to make that, so he's in a tough spot. If that cue ball is lined up dead for the pocket, then he has to do something else. Well, after he makes that two, he's going to play a combination three and nine, and he's going to go to seven to three. What is he going to do here, Nick? Well, he might he bank it at the nine. He's got a lead. Uh, he may bank it, follow forward, and play kind of a, a two-way shot, a safety and an offensive shot. No, he went for the... Give me a break, will you? What a shot. Oh, that yeah. break. He's gonna, this he's, guy pulls things out uh, of his hat. Now he's got a <laughs> uh, uh, the magician. Now he can play a uh, combination on the nine. I, Tom, just, said that, Nikki, I just said that, oh, <laughs> what, a few minutes ago at the lock. Watch it. He's going to go up 7-3. Front people just sit and watch. There you are. Oh. i tell you what. He got out from nowhere. I can't believe it. This guy does things that are so magical. 这个球解球哎呦 wow. It looks like if he doesn't, he'll draw the cue ball back two rails if he doesn't have an angle. Keep an eye on the cue ball here. It looks like he's drawing it back. Here it comes. One, two. And folks, that's a beautiful stroke <laughs> shot there. <laughs> you know, it's hard to explain to people who don't really know the game and a lot about the game what an influence worldwide this guy has had Yes. on different players. Literally all over. Players that didn't play a certain style, we're not as creative, not used to great shot making, and here comes Efren from the Philippines and shows him how to do it. <laughs> Somebody yelled in the crowd as he was getting down the shoot. <laughs> they told him to call it, and in, in, uh, in, not in English, though. <laughs> <laughs> that is what they meant, though. Got to call that nine, and Efren Reyes takes care of it there. And a beautiful, beautiful rack, breaking and running out, doing what he has to do. Francisco Bustamante will try to close out set one. He has the break. The three, not making the two. If this were the nine ball, the game would be over. But he has to fall on the uh, three ball. Oh, he's going to kick. That's how thin it is. I, I, it just looks like it's right on that point. Oh, the people are going to love this, or or he's going to hate this. <laughs> you like that? 
Listen to the crowd. A little bit more magic. That is not only magic, it's creative. That is a, that's a great shot. And again, watching Elcano, he didn't budge. The expression on his face, unchanged. He expects Efren to do these kind of things. That was really creative, that shot. And courageous. Yeah. And look at the speed. It crawled, and it, it barely reached, but it fell down. These diamond billiard tables are so consistent that Reyes knows that he can play shots, that he can dip into his wealth of experience and feel comfortable. Chalk off pool table cleaner, one of the sponsors of this year's event, as is Sam Syracuse, the bar queue. We also want to thank the spider laser trainer and the chameleon rack, which we've alluded to. And, and where would they be without Simonis 860 pool cloth? The best, absolutely the best by miles. And these players are treated to conditions that, that don't get any better. And Reyes is filling the pockets on this diamond table. Three in a row. He replies quick.